I have a question for all you D&D &D players. So, I just started playing D&D, &D, like, a few weeks ago. And the DM made me do a trust roll. Trust roll. To see how much I trust the other players in the party. No, no, I am playing as a tiefling rogue. And... If you look in the handbook, 5th edition, because that's what we're going with, it says that tieflings don't trust easily when, especially when someone's like, hey, you can trust me, I'm your friend. They don't trust that. So, um, I'll give you a little insight on the situation. So, what happened was, um, my character, who is an his backstory background is an outlander. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to put my words together. So, he didn't know what alcohol was, and he, they were talking, um, about, uh, alcohol, and, um, the general had mentioned, uh, the word drunk, and Aku, my, my character, was like, what's drunk? <laughs> he doesn't know, so he didn't. He thought it was a thing, and then the general was like, "Get this man some alcohol." And Aku's like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! I don't want drunk. I don't want that. You know. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to drink any alcohol. He didn't know what alcohol was. He didn't even like. I said he was like, "What's alcohol? I don't want that." So. They end up going to a pub anyways, and they're like, okay, so the, the, here's the two prices you can use. One gold to get as many drinks as you want, or like, so how many pieces of bronze to get a Pacific drink, and then you have to pay over and over. We did the one gold. That, that's not important to the story. So anyways, we were ordering, and Aku was like, I, I don't want anything. And every player was like, no, no, I don't have any problem with the players. It's just the players being, doing what their characters would do. And I completely understand. Totally fine. So they go and try to convince Aku to uh, get an alcoholic, be like alcoholic beverage. Aku repeatedly said, I do not want that. He kept on saying no. So finally he's like, do you have any hot tea? Now, the DM, who had been trying to convince Aku as well to get alcohol. Now, no, she... She isn't also a player. She wasn't in the party. She's just, just like an outside viewer kind of thing, so that's the thing. And I, I'm put I'm trying to put my thoughts together, I'm sorry. So So Aku's finally like I, I finally go and I say, I don't trust him. Cause here's the thing, they constantly belittle him. First uh session I was in as in the first time I ever played D&D &D. um they had at the first sign of danger now note like two of the characters were in jail the rest were with Aku going to see like mother someone who's like one with mother nature known as granny and then like this really bad guy came and then went and kind of did something bad and the rest of the players just left Aku, like, just left him. Like, didn't even look back. They just left. So, that's one reason not to trust them. Not to, like... That's the number one reason. He doesn't trust them. And one of the characters um, that was trying to persuade Aku to get alcohol was one of the characters that went and just ran off in the other direction once danger came in that situation. The other character was in jail. 
I'm, I'm not pointing anything out. This is just what their characters would do. So, then, um, another character chimes in and is trying to get Aku. This other character was in jail. And then the DM is like, no, you gotta, you gotta order something. This is a pub. I'm like, no, no. And then, like, I say again, I'm back, I backtrack, and then I come, uh, I'm gonna backtrack again. So, another reason, no, reason number two, they constantly belittle him, always calling him Lizard Boy, even though he is constantly, not constantly, but, like, he has said, please stop. He, it wasn't like, please, he was just like, yo, stop. And he was like, my name's Aku, not Lizard Boy. <laughs> And yet they still continue to do that. The characters being characters, but it's another reason for him not to trust them. So that's reason number two. And kind of reason number three. But those are two pretty big reasons, in my opinion. Another thing is that they kind of, like, don't treat him as, like, a person. They treat him more as, like, a thing. Characters being characters. The, the, not the player's fault, it's just the characters being the characters, you know? They didn't change their personalities for Aku or anything. Totally understandable. I totally understand. I am not mad at that whatsoever. I'm actually kind of mad at the DM more than I am the players, and I am pretty mad at the DM. I'm not mad at the players at all. So, then... Uh, once the DM realizes that Aku doesn't trust any of the players. any I mean, characters, my bad. I trust the players. I don't trust the characters. In, like, Aku's point of view, I wouldn't trust the characters. So. Um. So, then the DM makes me do this trust roll. Trust. T-R-U-S-T. T. Trust roll. And I was like, okay. And it was with a d20. And I rolled a 4. And I was like, okay, okay. I don't trust him. Good number. Good number. I wanted a low number. And then the DM was like, you trust him very much. Wait, what? What did you just say? You trust him. And I was like, So I have it to where Aku just, like, kind of throws the drink behind him. Because, like, I'm not at Aku did not want to drink. <laughs> he ended up drinking. Because they were, they had told me, no, he has to drink it. I was like, oh, fine. So we ended up drinking. So that happened. And I'm really confused. Because I talked to two other people about this. I had just messaged the DM about my thoughts on the situation and what I thought about it and how I... Like, it's, the past is in the past, it's happened, I can't change that. I just wanted to point out my thoughts so the mistake wasn't made. The mistake, I don't even know if it's a mistake, you know? So that's why I'm asking. So, the play, the people who I had asked said, that, that's assault. <laughs> like, one of them said that one. The other person had joined in the conversation much later. And neither of them had heard of a trust role. Trust roll. <laughs> so, I don't know what happened, but I feel like... I feel like because I was so new to D&D that the DM decided, hey, I can make this character do what I want no matter what. So that happened and honestly I'm really upset by it because you know I spent an entire week making Aku and I don't make characters just for the sake of making a character I have actually ended up making it a coping mechanism I use so Aku it it I feel like Aku is a part of me so <laughs> Like, they disrespected Aku, they disrespected me, and that's how I felt. None of them really know this, but the DM knows I use it as a coping mechanism, and every single character I make has a piece of me in them. 
so obviously I'm going to feel offended personally. <laughs> no, once again, no, I am not mad at the players or their characters whatsoever. Their characters are being their characters 100% fine, but I feel like the DM should have been like, hey, this person said no, it's a no. And they could have kept trying to persuade, but like the DM shouldn't have... Um, thrown fuel in the flame kind of thing. So, yeah, I was I was super confused and I have no idea what happened. I don't know if it was a thing every DM does, every good DM does. I don't know if it was something that a DM shouldn't do. Because I know with improv, now this DM said, like, the number one thing the DM should be good at or great at is improv. And I don't know if you know this, but the number one rule is yes and. <laughs> Unless they're super uncomfortable by it. And so Aku was saying no. Being himself, you know, no. It's like, and then Aku saying, how about hot tea is kind of like saying yes-ish. So... But then, the she wasn't able to go and allow that, and I was super confused. And I don't know what happened at all, and I don't know if that was a good thing. Not, like, a good thing. I, I'm never going to think that's a good thing. And... It sucks a lot, because I really enjoyed it, but I did not like that whatsoever, and now I'm not even sure if I want to be in the session anymore, because I'm worried that I'm going to have to do, have to deal with more of that kind of stuff from the DM, and I don't want to deal with that, honestly. I'd rather have my character make their own decisions and not have to be forced to make a decision they don't want to make. I mean, I get if it's in, like, a life or death crisis, you know. Like, if you don't do this, this is going to happen. But if you don't do that, this is going to happen. And they're both, like, both the endings are bad, but they're both for the greater good kind of thing. It's kind of like the trolley. or like, you go... you move the switch you end up killing one person but if you don't you end up killing five that are total strangers but that one person if you like let me let me rephrase this so it's a trolley thing so it's going and you notice that uh, there are five workers on the railroad ahead of them and there's a little thing that they can turn to but there is one person that you know the five workers are total strangers to you the one person is a loved one that you know. And then it was kind of like, which one do you do? Either way, it's still bad, but it's kind of like, you can't really, you have no other option. Like, I get that. I get that. If the DM made it to where Aku had to made it, make a decision like that, I would have no problem with it whatsoever. But it was because of the fact that it was in such a minor situation that I have a problem with it. The fact that it wasn't a life or death situation, that no matter what, the outcome was going to be bad. It wasn't anything like the trolley example I gave, you know? Because, like, in that situation, the character would be forced to make a decision, including one they don't even want to make. Because, like, no one wants that on their conscience. Because, like, you either let it happen or you make it to where the trolley turns but ends up killing someone else, especially someone you love. Like, no one wants that on their conscience. Like, no good person wants that on their conscience. So, I don't know what happened. I am super confused by it, and... I don't know. I had talked to the DM about this. Um, so, yeah. And I do have other problems with 
the DM. Not in I. Some of them are personal. We do have history, and it isn't a very good one. And I was actually very hesitant on joining the session in the first place, but it was the only session I could really join where I knew someone, and I didn't realize that I knew other people in other sessions, so I, if I knew that, I would have joined those, but the, because the person had invited me, the person I knew invited me, it was in that session where the DM was with a person that I did have a very personal history with, and it wasn't a good one. Uh, I didn't want to be rude. And I do enjoy the session very much. I love it, and I always look forward to it. I wasn't able to make it to today's session because I had therapy, but it, it's something I always look forward to, and I would hate to have to stop doing it, but I also would hate to have some, like this kind of thing continuously happen. If you catch my drift so yeah that's how I feel I'm sorry you had to look at my legs sometimes they're pretty bad they're hairy I don't like shaving if you couldn't tell Oof. hair it's hairy you can see some of it but like yeah, so, I don't know, this is more of, like, a vent video. Uh, I don't know if it's vlog number two. <laughs> um, I did notice, though, that I got two views on my last vlog, and I was so happy about it. I did not expect to get any views, and I don't know if it was because of the clickbait title. I specifically meant for it to be clickbait. I think with my vlogs, I'm going to use a quote, like a completely random quote that I said that like makes no sense whatsoever unless you watch the video um, as the titles. So, yeah, uh, let me... Laundry baskets are stupid. Um, no, that, that's not a good one. Uh. I don't have a problem with D&D, &D, so I can't be like, my problem with D&D. &D. Because I don't have a problem. I have a problem with the DM. That's two different things. Okay! So. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to call this. Fine, laundry baskets are stupid. That, that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, bye. Bye. Have a nice day or night or whatever <laughs> time it is. Have a nice life. I don't know if you're gonna even finish the video, but yeah. Have a nice life. I'm gonna wait till the 19 minute mark because I like that. Okay, bye!